Hello, Andy. First of all, I would like to ask you, how do you feel here in Bulgaria, in Senshi? It feels good. It, uh, this the second time that I'm, I'm here. Uh, invited uh, in the beginning of this year, and I already noticed that it was a, a great, spectacular event. And uh, yeah, yesterday it was a big event too. Uh, we teach with a lot of legends, uh, a little bit less than we did the last time, but still again, we enjoyed it. There are a lot of people, people are focusing on learning, so, uh, and that's the thing we are here for. Yeah, that's right. And also, um, what is Senshi for you? Do no. you like to meet a new um, people here, to teach them, to show them new things? First of all, I think the Senshi, the name by itself, the Japanese background they have with the Kikushin Karate style, I think it's a lot, uh, it's a big value to the rest of the world. So it's not only for Bulgaria, but in overall the world is, is needing the martial arts values and things like that. Um, so the first thing you can say, that's the most important, respect. Uh, and the discipline that, that you will get from martial arts, they're bringing it back into the camps, in the Senshi camps. So, uh, of course, the Sian is taking care of it. Uh, the only thing we, we only feel as legends that we got respected really, really a lot. So that's a really good uh, coming, ho coming home feeling. Um, and besides that, if you can see the participants, there are a lot of guys and girls, youngsters, old people, coaches from di different disciplines. So that means that there is a big community. And uh, I think that's uh, the most precious thing we can have in martial arts, and that's a community. Contacts with each other, uh, each other, sharing knowledge with each other. I think that's the, the most pur biggest purpose of the, the whole Sanchi um, event. And what about the level of uh, the participants? Like I said, there are so many uh, groups, uh, from youngsters to, uh, to, to uh, women, uh, to beginners, to starters, uh, to fighters, high-level fighters, coaches. So I think it's 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 yeah, it's a ma ma almost uh, a mainstream into the uh, martial arts community. So so many people are involved. So I think everybody can learn from each other, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's the most valuable part of the of the whole event. Is it something specific that you want to show them? Of course, you know, they ask me to come over and to share my knowledge and my knowledge is, is different than, than the, all the other legends, of course. So um, I think I have something specific, you know, I have a kind of system that I work with, you know, uh, as a fighter, but also as a coach, I try to project it to my students and uh, in my seminars I do the same, you know, it's not only just punching or kicking, uh, but uh, the, the main target that I have towards the, the audience or part participants is uh, why they do it uh, and the when they do it and the how they do it. So three questions, the when, the why and the hows. That's the most important thing. So not only to get their skills better or the technical part of it, but it's also uh, the knowledge and the, the fight IQ. Yes, I agree. And also, what do you think is the most important thing in the combat sports? What is the most thing besides the, 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 uh, the thing you will get back from sports in general? You will get a lot of uh, uh, strength, self-confidence, uh, fitness uh, from, from sports by itself. But uh, with me, fr from fighting, you know, you, you get a, a big, big self-esteem, uh, of course. But uh, the, the big advantage of it all is yeah, to get a, being a stronger human being, you know. And uh, if you can project it uh, after your own career, in my case, for example, you know, that's the most valuable part that I do. I'm here to help uh, other people out and to help them getting a little bit better in their own style or in their own system but also to be um, a good human being, you know? That is amazing. And um, you're an undisputed champion, but do you remember the victory that you will never forget? Which is the most important fight for you in your career? It was a fight against Albert. No. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. No, I'm just joking. No. 
To be honest, there are so many, many fights, you know. So I, I got this question many times. So, so you have a lot of opponents, uh, past a lot of opponents, you know, in my career. So I had hard hitters. I had hard kickers. I had, um, like we, the so-called Dutch kickbooks. I, I've met a lot of different styles. Uh, the most precious one was uh, my fight against Masato in 2006, our first fight. It was a mental victory inside, uh, inside my brain, so I enjoyed that that much. But the most difficult one was against Petrosian the, the second time. Once again, mentally I wasn't there. I had a big fight before, but you know, lose it, they have excuses. Uh, but in that time, I didn't have any answer. You know, so the answer was not there. I couldn't follow him up. I, 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 was, I was slow. I, I couldn't reach out for him. I missed a lot. You know, in, in that time, it was like it's, it was more mental loss, you know, that I couldn't any, have any answer. While I was thinking I'm a sparring fighter, but in that time, I couldn't use my, my knowledge or couldn't use my, 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 my spirit. I will ask you something different. What do you think about social medias? Do you think that they are important for your career or for fighters to influence people no, I'm online? I'm from a different generation, you know, and uh, even though the importance was there already, we and I didn't grow up with with internet, but eventually it was. In that, uh, when I was a teenager, in the end of teenager, there was already internet, so it was uh, it was just starting. Nowadays, you see the overall. Everybody's aware of it. Everybody's uh, using a lot of time to promote themselves on on the internet or to, on social media. So in one, one thing is sure, we cannot change that this time anymore. So I think uh, we have to use it, but we have to use it in a proper way. So what we do, we just share knowledge, respect and things like that instead of having a big mouth and showing off that you are bigger than, than anybody. Well, we are not. You know, we just, you need to be humble. You are a fighter with all your abilities and all your strengths, but also all your insecurities, your, 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 your bad things, you know, uh, uh, like I said, the opposite, you know, of, of being a tough guy, you know, because you're, you're just a human being and don't act like tough. So that's more mentally and spiritually, you know, I don't like uh, the, the social, social media nowadays, even though there are enough accounts and enough fighters who are standing on both feet on the ground. But uh, unfortunately, the opposite is true. There are a lot, a lot more people who are acting tough while they are not. I understand. And do you want to say something to your fans? What of course. You? Thank, you, thank you for all. And uh, I want to give a big thank to the St. Jean organization for treating me well, being here, feeling welcome over here. And what, most of all, uh, that I can share my knowledge with lots of people. So thank you, Bulgaria. And thank you, the rest of the world. Thank you so much, and I wish you good luck. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Os.